Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back. We have Xenauts, Xenauts or whatever, and uh, we have Charlie One. We're we heading to Crash Site 16. Let's begin. Let's see what uh, horrible aliens are there to eat our face, shall we? I haven't read that yet. I think I shall. Maybe after doing this. Anyway. And this looks like a night mission. It's never a good thing. Get your old leg. You crouch, you're going to get a good shot off, I suppose. There we go. Yui, you go there. And we're in a corner. That is brilliant. He's a Hawkeye. Rukia, you can go there. Judo, you go there. Get the aircraft there. So, we have an officer there, a couple of civilians, another civilian over here, and we don't see any aliens yet. Hello, Reaper! And he has moved away. It's not good. The very fact that we have Reapers and a lot of civilians does not fill me with... Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, there's the ship. Well, at least we found the ship. You can go there, Reza Hawkeye. Judo, you go there. Not sure. It's your leg, you can stay there. I think, um, just in case, but. God damn it, someone shoot this guy. Well done. No, that's not good. That's definitely not good. That's even worse. Come on! Come on, Charlie One. You're supposed to be the. Uh oh. Well, that's a zombie. We've lost someone. Well, we've lost Judo. Oh well. We had to do that. And uh, we're going to end turn here. That was a uh, alien. Yeah, well, that was another Reaper. It's not good. Right, you can stay there. We're gonna have to hunt these fucking Reapers. And we're gonna have to hunt them and kill them. Slowly, but surely, and everyone. 
has to stay in a group. Kikuchiki, you can go there. Well, that's a city. Well, that's a someone killing an alien. I think. <sighs> well, that's why Reapers are so, so worrisome. Anyway, because they, they kill someone and turn them into a Reaper. I'll turn them first into a zombie, then turn them into a Reaper. Which then, when they die, becomes a Reaper. Well, you're a dead Reaper. Good. Don't like the fact. That this lot of potentially a lot of reapers around. Yeah, that's <laughs> ah, poor Judo. Right, okay, so. Uh, this looks like a remarkably big map as well, that's not good either. I saw a movement over there. It's looking like we've got this area cleared. Hmm. Just the cruiser to clear, I think, but we'll take it slowly. Uh oh. Ooh. There's still a lot of him moving. I wonder if they are the civilians. I'm hoping they are. You're not dead yet. Well done, beat your Oleg. Lieutenant, you may have earned yourself a promotion.
I was really worried there's still a Reaper hanging around somewhere. Or well, there's someone that's been turned into a zombie. So we have a large map down here. Oh well. We shall uh, make ways to open this area out. Mm, still a lot of hidden movement. Although there was a few civilians around, but I'm just worried that there's something still out there. This is the thing with in old Xehanorts, Chrysalids, and well, in old XCOM, sorry, old XCOM with Chrysalids. The very fact that they existed meant that you could lose a lot of people. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah. See if you can, uh. do something about that. Yeah, I could blow it up. Oh well. Uh. gonna end turn. Probably not gonna. Sh yeah, they're not. I'm gonna blow the door down. I've already not been. careful and. Okay, question. That was not. That was not. Um, okay, we're not going to shoot yet. Kikuchi, you're going to crouch. Your leg, you're going to be there. Corporal. You go there. Now. That's a civilian. I just worry that it's going to be an alien coming around. There's going to be a, a chrysalid coming around. Begin to think that there's no. Ah, right. So the civilians. Right. Okay. Panic over. Let's get used to to the breaching position. There we go. I'll tell you what, whoever designed these, these, um, uh, the, the game designer, whoever actually designed and mapped out these places, they are very clever. There we go. Door open. You're gonna, st yeah, you got enough for a snapshot, we can, uh, leave it like that. Hello. Oh, you've got armor, my friend. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That door opened. So there's at least two aliens. You're dead. Wait a sign. Let's make a new doorway. There we go. You've only got 43 health. Uh, that's probably going to be bad. Okay, let's go. You missed. So we know someone's there. If 
it works. <laughs> Could do this all day. I mean, granted, I'm not getting many corpses and uh, stuff, but. Right, okay. This is 63, you have 50. Oh, hello. Well, we know where he is. Problem is now, I've got nowhere to go to get past him. Right. Oh, hello. Gonna crouch. No, we're not going to do that. We're gonna do that. That's a hundred percent block, but I think he may get a shot off here. So we'll do that. Well, let's have a look. Oh, he jumps over there, jumps over there, can't see him anymore. Hello. Let's do this. Yeah, it hits. That's fine. Oh! Okay, there's two aliens. We need to get uh, extra firepower in. There we go. Okay. He's going to be a problem. He's going to be another big problem. A bunch of hidden movement. Can't hit him. Hmm. Right. Feature Oleg, you go there. You go Hawkeye, you go here. Get some sniper shots on anyone that comes through. Let's just end turn, because he's going to have to... There we go! Thought so! He'd have to get us some shots. He'd have to move to get some shooting. And come on! Now he's out of view. Well done, armor. Okay. So. You are dead as a doornail. So let's see what happens. Miss, damn it. And that was a miss as well. Oh! Lisa, you're gonna have to run away. Rookie is gonna have to go here. Oleg, not gonna be able to hit. Seventy percent chance. There we go. Come on. There we go. Is that everyone? It is. Well, hey, and Corporal Judah Ashta died. He was killed in action. He turned into a zombie. Uh, so we had to uh, thrombe his corpse. Which Hawkeye is injured for eight days. Who's going to be injured for one day? And he's not a lieutenant! Lieutenant Alex Louis Armstrong. Lieutenant Armstrong. Sergeant Rita Hawkeye. Captain Hero Yui. So well done, everyone. And. 
Voila! Transport arrived at DWNA base. Is that more materials? I think it is. More armor. For everyone. Yeah, we have more jackal armor. So. There we go. Uh, we need two guys. Uh, so, Patrick Kalasawa. There we go. And Zex Marquis. Because, uh, Tokusa, Marky, where are you? Where's my troops thing? Oh, there he is. There he is. Yazan, Lieutenant, well done. You've been doing well. But we've lost Judo. Oh dear. So, how are we doing with science wise? We are on excellent for directional thrusters and alien interrogation. That's good. And here we go! Directional thruster away. The extraterrestrial craft are fascinating for many reasons, not least their extra extraordinary maneuvering ability. Their fighters dance through the air like graceful ballerinas, and even their ponderous capital ships can hover in place for a tur and turn far more quickly than their size should allow. It seems the recovered directional thruster away explains how this is possible. The device consists of a central brain and a series of rotatable thrusters mounted outside of the ship's hull. These thrusters were clearly originally designed for maneuvering in a vacuum, but during that atmospheric, atmospheric flight on the combined roll of wings, stabilizers and elevators, an outer shell of tiny flaps, each able to produce, provide tiny amounts of ve vector thrust, allows for an immense amount of control over the output of each individual thruster. Collectively, a network of a dozen or more of these thrusters gives the craft the ability to perform some fairly remarkable aerobatics. Though this system is hardly energy efficient compared to the conventional flight control system, alien craft generate enough power that this is not a problem. The brain is an overall structure roughly the size of a car engine. It contains a crowded arrangement of sensors and a dense mass of biological and electronics that we believe automatically stabilize the flights of the UFO based on incoming sensor data. Unfortunately, this biological brain would be too complex to re replicate, but it may be possible to substitute it. Automated control systems for spacecraft have been around for almost 20 years, so I imagine with a little time my team would be able to adapt and improve the existing designs to create something capable of controlling the, a few of these thrusters. We may not be able to create a system as elegant as the extraterrestrial one, but even a basic solution could drastic, drastic, dramatically even improve the performance of our interceptors and dropships. Well done. D-42 Shrike Dropship. We are going to research that bad boy. Even if it's not on our list yet. Image research. Why can't I scroll you? Ah, there we go. So there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, uh, I don't want 16 guys on that. We have more important things to do. Like... Alien communications away. Let's put everyone on that. Base upgrade. Let's put ev almost everyone on that and put everyone else on that. Speaking of which, I think we're going to hire some engineers. We're going to hire three. There we go. The engineers will come in about some time. And we're in December 1979, nearly the new year. See, what else are we at? We are at Alien Intelligence. We could really hire some more scientists as well. Probably be really a good idea. No alien activity. 
At least nothing I'm hearing about. 6th of December. Just waiting for it to all tick by. Ah! We have a soldier. Go to base. Good, Maya. Hmm, who am I going to make you as? Hmm. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, I've got to think now. Not a bunch of names, but I've used a lot of them, so... Let's rename you... Afrenzala. There we go. He's not assigned to anyone. So, there's that. Following it, if three engineers have gone to white base, we are going to instantly put them on the wolf battle armor. Cut it down to ten days. Actually, do you know what? Put them all on that. 33 days, 10 hours. We've made two laser rifles. We've made a second. Let's uh, split it evenly. So, we have a new... Oh, yeah, we have a gap here. So, unassigned. Bright Noah. Going back to Charlie 1. So, where is Bright Noah? Oh, he has a bunch of stuff. Good. Neo Trinity is nearly full. So Charlie 2 is nearly fully healed. Charlie 3 is fully ready and re ready and able. Also, I think. Yeah, we have a spare wolf armor. So that is going to go to Sergeant Reza Hawkeye. Oh. So yeah, we made the 11 out of 16. So we've only got five more to make. And then all these guys can go straight onto the Corsair Interceptor once we're able, once they're able to, and three hundred thousand dollars. But we have two, we have two laser rifles now. Alien integration without the ability, interrogation even integrate alien interrogation. Let's start again, people. Without the ability to communicate with our extraterrestrial attackers, there can be no peace. This war could only end with the extinction of one side genocide on a galactic s galactic scale. Is it therefore helpful that study of our captive has yielded the secret of alien communication? We have a captive? I don't think so. I've been killing them all. <laughs> Extraterrestrials have anthropoid vocal cords because they communicate via radio telepathy rather than verbally. An alien word is in fact a sh just a short burst of radio waves. Energy intensive, but effective. We have been able to construct a basic alien vocabulary using our lab transceivers to record radio transmissions from our captive and repeat them back in various combinations. Study of the responses by our resident cryptographers, decipher the meanings of several, allowing us to conduct basic conversations with our captive and expanding our understanding even further. Though I care not to care not for such tri trifles, our work here has created an entirely new scientific discipline making me the father of xenolinguistics. 
It's a shame that our captive Frederick proved such a terrible conversationist, endlessly repeating their request for new orders, refusing to engage on any other subject. Interestingly, it seems happily happy to thoughtlessly follow simple orders issued by my team, such as moving it moving across itself. It, eventually, once it had become clear that no more could be gained from pressing the creature, one of my team handed it a pistol and ordered it to kill itself. It promptly complied, splattering its brains across half the containment tank. It seems the alien soldiers are just mindless trolls, I suspect we need to capture an alien officer for it to get answers we seek. Oh, and before you get too excited, reproducing the suicide effect on the battlefield is completely impractical. It requires a stationary target in a laboratory full of equipment. Yeah, but still! No new projects! We need to capture an alien officer for interrogation now. So, what do we got here? The electric shock grenade. We're gonna put everyone that we have on it. So we have five scientists. Because I think if they stun them instead of actually just killing them, we're gonna be using them instead of the stun rods or whatever they have for stun weapons. UFO 47 detected. Intercept. Condor 3. Um, launch intercept select new target oh so if you have intercept Resolve. Interception successful! Well, hey, we've lost one condor. Return to base. Two alien allies. Hmm! Oh, a bomber! Oh, this is a new one. Auto resolve. We pretty much almost lost everyone. Return to base. One bomber data core, one alien element, and four alien allies. So, they're like the fighters in a sense. There's still a bunch of stuff over there happening. 